Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to another Trespasser custom map. This is another one of Draconosaurus's old mini-mod Mondays. This is Lost Desert. Which, as you can tell, is a desert map, something you don't see in Trespasser basically ever. Oh, we've got two revolvers here. You don't really see the revolver very often either. People usually opt for Six the better left. weapons in custom maps. Alright, so I believe this is another map we can complete, but I might be wrong there. It's been a long time since I read the README. Also interesting to note that Draconosaurus is back to making mini-mods. I believe they are 1.5 week mods or something like that now he's calling them. But I'll be checking those out as they come. Once I figure out how to get them working with CE. So I had a little bit of confusion there because he was referencing using CE custom stuff in the new maps, and I thought he meant custom edition, which is the older sort of equivalent to Twilight that, you know, people were using before Twilight came out and sort of improved upon it, but he actually meant the CE patch, which is a totally different thing. That's just confusingly named. Alright. This guy looks like a slightly modified Tribe A raptor to look Six left. to fit with the desert theme. Four. Three. Two. One. Definitely a little tougher than a Tribe A. We also had two paths to go there. I hope we didn't pick the wrong one. Though it is very possible that the other one was a dead end. And we got a para over there. Let's go this way first. Also, stuff is going to be popping in because I have the draw distance turned down, as is usually a safe bet with most of these Trespasser maps. In fact, let's turn it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to save. Because that's something I often forget to do in these custom levels. Since you can't just quick load, quick save with F7, F9. You can only really do manual saves as far as I can tell with Twilight. He has not activated yet. Oh, there we go. So, well, this Albertosaur seems a little confused. He's not really sure what he wants to do. He's just kind of bouncing like he's doing an idle pose for JRPG. And... Is that... Blood? No, I think that's just part of the ground texture. I was gonna say, was he, like, getting injured by standing there? Oh, I think actually that is blood on the ground texture, possibly. To show that this fellow has been eating. That's not really what I want to see behind me. Are these cows? Just kind of indifferent to this whole situation. Those are cows. Very rare that you... Cows that are making dinosaur noises and appear to be triceratops rigged. Oh, I can't get over there. Or can you? Nope, there's an invisible wall to stop you from harassing the cows. What happened to that? Alright. I guess he leashed. But yeah, it's not often that you see non-dinosaurs of all things in Trespasser. I mean, we've really only seen like the bear and the boar, I think are the only ones. Fucking monster cows. 
really wants me dead. Alright, so I take it this whole area is just to show off the cows. And there isn't actually anything there. So maybe this will connect back to the area at the start. Or the area where that para was. Definitely not the prettiest ground texture, but it is Trespasser, and it is a bit of terrain that you don't normally see, so you get a pass there, especially considering it was made in such a short time. Okay, we got something over here, and we got a raptor over there. Six left. <sighs> I wonder what the chances I can hit them from here are. Line up the iron sight posts. There's no reason to try to hit him from this distance. Five. Mostly just a waste of ammo. Four. But I'm not really trying to save ammo here. One. Empty. Alright, what do we got going over here? Some kind of little campsite. With a gold bar. Sadly, we can't use the gold bar as a weapon. It is too heavy. Oh. And some Captain Morgan. So at least somebody was having a good little time out here, staring at this puddle. Full of gold bars. Six left. And Ruger Redhawk. You don't see those very often in maps as well. Probably because they're a little too powerful. Okay, so... A little turn around here. I know we haven't seen everything, because there is a minecart track somewhere. Can't tell if this is the para I saw before. I'm gonna hop my way over here and see if there is the Albertosaur on the right. In which case I'll know to turn around. And there's no map for this level. Oh, that was the sound of me hitting the rock. Sounded like a corpse just flopped down next to me. Alright, there's a raptor, but there's no parasaur, so now I'm lost. Okay, this is a dead end, so I guess this eliminates one direction to go in, but there is a weapon over there. And a hat. Is that a... It's a double barrel shotgun. Eight shots. With eight shots. I wonder if it's just a remodeled spas. You see this? This is my boomstick. Seven. Oh. Well, that was a disappointing sound. It's just the rifle sound. Six rounds. No, I guess Six Anne isn't rounds. really good with hats. You know what's funny with these custom ands? Sorry for a face full of chest here, but 
You can actually see that the heart tattoo is a separate sprite since it switches them out as you take damage. So, if that's a dead end, then this looks like a dead end too, but not sure where it leads. This seems to be a bit of a maze in this canyon. on this barrel. I was expecting another weapon or something. So where the hell am I going? Because this looks completely different. Is this the... Oh. Six left. Is this the Paris... Oh. I think we've already been here. Okay, so I think this will lead to the Albertosaur. Yeah, because there's the path we took left last time, I think. Which means the para should be in this direction, though it might not be there anymore, because it might have been the one getting killed by a raptor. In which case, I need to take that other path, yeah, past the tent and to the right. So I just kind of went in a big old circle, but that's fine. Can now eliminate that area as an area we need to go. Head this way, this kind of open looking path. This might also lead back to the start. Oh no, there's a dino out there, so maybe there's a reason to go this way. Kind of looks like it's just a big valley. Ah, my dreaded nemesis house. What are these raptors up to? Are those raptors? Are those are those giant chickens? Is that is that what I'm seeing here? Jesus Christ. They are giant Well, are they giant? They're giant angry chickens that are making raptor noises. Maybe they're just trying to act like their ancestors. You've seen too much chicken. I'm probably out drinking right now. And? And? And who? And who? Five rounds left. There is a distinct lack of my gun getting stuck in the ground in this map, which is nice. Uh, I don't like these stairs. Oh, stole my gun. Five shots. So you can get up here, but it's a bit of a pain. You just kind of have to jump and hope you sort of catch. No, oh, there might be an invisible wall there. I think I might have to give up. Okay, if I can get her sphere on top of this railing again, I might be able to... Oh, she's slipping. He's a slippery fellow, that I am. And then accelerate. 
All right. <laughs> Bed just blew up. You know, I was just about to say, there's a good chance one of these beds will kill me. Now, let's see if I can load without being dead. Alright. So... I should be able to shortcut my way there. But yeah, usually you don't want to intentionally provoke physics objects like I was doing there because eventually one of them will smash you in the face. Six left. Now all I've got is the dinky revolver. And the Red Hawk's here. So all I'm missing out Six on rounds. is that shotgun. Which was Six neat looking, rounds. but a little disappointing that it wasn't actually really a functional double barrel. Can I drink this? No. Six left. That was very nearly a fatal misfire. I saw right down that barrel for a second. And again, I don't know if I uh, showed it off in the main playthrough, but you can definitely shoot yourself. The main play th by the main playthrough, I mean my Trespasser LP from forever ago. I know I definitely shock prodded myself to death. Five. What? Four. Three. That's it. Why did he get stuck in like mid-air? Totally threw me off with that. So, I don't think there's anything really in that last room. Though, now that I've said that, there's probably like a gun in there. Alright. Death by horseshoe. I wouldn't be surprised if this horseshoe is actually just a reskinned Quake logo. The Quake logo being an easter egg weapon from the original Trespasser that did more damage than anything else. I mean, I showed off a video where I was beating a T-Rex to death with it. So I guess we'll just kind of do a circuit around this valley. Sounds like that chicken is eating the other chicken, and then it's not going to eat me. Alright. Doesn't seem very phased by that. Oh, this might actually be a cliff now that I'm looking at it. A little patch of grass here with nothing on it. Yeah, okay, so we got a cliff here, which thankfully limits the amount of area I need to search. I think we just need to hook around the valley there. I wish just one of these custom levels would maybe increase Anne's movement speed, so I wouldn't have to hop everywhere, because it is still legitimately faster to bunny hop like this, because of the way her sphere leg inertia works. You kind of have to accelerate. Is there anything over there? There's probably not at the edge of the cliff, but there might be.
This is probably where we're going to find that minecart track that's mentioned in the readme. And I think that might be the end of the level. Oh, I could be wrong. Again, it's hard to keep track of all of these custom levels and which ones are finishable and which ones are just exploration based. I hope we don't have to cross that. Saying that, we probably absolutely need to cross that. Now, is this connected to where we were before? It looks like this probably leads back to where I just came from. There's a raptor there. I think past him is the camp. So I'll take it right here, see if we end up anywhere familiar. And if so, I think we'll call it for the map because I'm not sure there's anything else to see. I might have missed a few things here and there, but it is possible this is just an exploration-based map. Yeah, there's the dead end again, and Six over rounds. there is where the double barrel shotgun is, so I think we've pretty much seen everything in this area. Five. Two. And if I did miss any other areas, well, that's just kind of something you have to put up with with these cus Trespasser Customs videos. Because it's not like there are a lot of readmes or anything that tell you the entirety of the map. It's not like there's anyone else I can check with. That's it. So if I missed anything, then, well, I missed something, and that's all there is to it. Yeah, I think we've pretty much seen all there is to see. I don't think you can actually get up there. I think that's just another set piece. And this was for sure a dead end, right? Yeah, it's just a cliff there. Alright, so I guess that's it for Lost Desert. It's neat to see another biome covered in a Trespasser map, because we don't really see a lot of variety there. Though there is another Draconosaurus map that is autumn-focused. And if I can get that working, I'll show it off. It's another one of those CE 1.07 patches for Trespasser maps. So if I can figure out how to set that up, because it hasn't really worked for me so far, then I'll show those off as well. But until next time, I've been Shadefire, this is Trespasser Custom, and I hope you'll join me with some more custom dinos, custom chickens, custom everything in Trespasser. Take care, everyone.